Hey guys, I'm back with another microscope hack. So one of the things that my stereo microscope does not have is a camera output port. So using some stuff that I had lying around the house, including this little tiny NTSC security camera, uh, I changed out the lens in that, built this little optical adapter to slip it over one of the eyepieces. And uh, that combination of optics just happens to work pretty well to give me uh, video output from the microscope. And this is pretty handy for a bunch of stuff like uh, sharing the output of uh, the microscope with somebody you're working with in the lab, recording it to a computer, um, all kinds of stuff. So you can see here on this monitor uh, that it's actually a live output from the camera. You can zoom in just as you'd normally be able to do, uh, do the focus like you would normally do. And you can use the camera just like you were looking through the eyepieces. So it's a pretty simple system, mechanically speaking. Uh, I basically made an adapter that is a slip fit over one of the 10x eyepieces that's part of the microscope. And those eyepieces just sit in the normal cups that they do uh, that are attached to the microscope. The camera is also a friction fit at the other end of the adapter. And this is the adapter piece, the inside diameter uh, fits over the eyepiece and the other part that holds the camera uh, slides up and down inside of that to allow some simple focus adjustment. So here's the completed assembly with the microscope end on the left and the camera on the right. And you can see when it's broken apart that the uh, ring in the middle uh, attaches both to the camera and slides inside the microscope end. And looking down the barrel you can see the camera lens that I had to change out and this is either a 12 millimeter or a 16 millimeter C-mount lens. And I got it as part of a um, C-mount lens kit from Deal Extreme for like 15 bucks. And the reason I don't know which of the lenses that I used is that the cheap little labels there fell off. And I just didn't feel like figuring out which was which. So it's one of those. So here are some of the uh, pictures I took while I was actually making these parts on my lathe. Started out with a piece of 1.375 bar stock, bored it out. Made a nice part, got the IDs and the ODs right, tested it out on the microscope, it was all looking great, flipped it around in the lathe to part it off, and the parting tool caught and broke, and I munged that part. So I made another one. Uh, what else do you do, right? Uh, parted off the little end part that holds the camera, bored it out, had two different bore sizes on the camera piece, so I used the dial indicator to make sure the depths were right. Did a bunch of test fitting along the way so it would fit the camera and it would fit the microscope eyepiece just right. And uh, in the end, you know, it all worked out. It was pretty easy to test. Once I was all done, I masked everything off and powder coated it. And if you were interested in that, I have another video all about that process. So that's about it. Uh, pretty cool, easy little hack that you can do. Um, hope it can be useful to you. And uh, until next time, take it easy.